Hello my friends, how are you? It's Brother Ray here. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. I also hope that you're keeping your eyes and you're trusting in Jesus as you walk this pilgrim's journey. This is just an encouraging devotional video to give you some words of encouragement from the Bible so that you can know that Jesus is with you as he's been with all of the other disciples, prophets, and writers of the Bible. You know, God wants us to continue to trust in him and to abide in him. But to abide in Him and to trust in Him, we need to surrender ourselves and study His Word, read His Word daily, and pray and talk to God, and also share His Word. But God wants us, when we come to Him, to have faith and to know and believe that He's able to lead us, to guide us, and to protect us, and more so, to help us along this journey to give us peace. And I shall share some verses with you today from Psalms 121 that was written by David. And we know that David, many times, David had a lot of trials in his life. David is famous for killing Goliath. But the Bible says, and God said it, that David was a man after his own heart. You see, David chose to fully surrender himself to God. And he chose to trust God even in difficult moments. And this is what he says in Psalms 121, verses 1 and 2. He said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which had made heaven and earth. You see, David realized that he needs help. He realized that he has struggles. But he realized that he cannot do it on his own. My brothers and sisters, we can't do it on our own. We need to lift up our eyes unto heaven to ask God to help us to overcome so that God can give us the strength, God can give us the courage, and more so that God can give us the, the will and fill us with the Holy Spirit so that we can be led. Just the same way how David had those trials, brothers and sisters. I know you have something, I have something, we all have something, and that's a result of living in a world that's been full of sin. Because of this sinful nature, these things are with us. But with God, all things are possible, and God can remove these things from our life, or at least give us peace. But we have to lift up our eyes to God and ask Him to be with us. The Bible also says in Psalms 121 verse 3, He says, He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber nor sleep. Jesus is not slumbering. He's not sleeping. You may think He's forgotten about you, but He's not forgotten about you. Jesus has you in the palm of his hands, but he's waiting on his time to do what his will is for your life. And this is something that we need to realize as well, because many of times we want things to happen our way. But God's time is the best time, because when God's time would kick in or step in, we would know that there is a God who is there to help us and lead us. You know, when we do things on our own and we get uh, our, our way, we credit ourselves. We give ourselves the glory. And that's a sense of pride kicking in, where we tend to forget and kick out God. But you see, when we trust God and God lead us and God guides us, and then God does what he's supposed to do for us, we can know that it's only true by only and true a higher power, which is God himself, that we were able to accomplish what we can accomplish. The Bible says this also in Psalms 121, verse 4. It says, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from evil. He shall preserve thy soul. And the last verse in Psalms 121 says, verse 8, it says, The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth even and forevermore. My brothers and sisters, God wants to preserve you. He wants to watch over you. He wants to lead you. He wants to guide you. He wants to be with you. But it's only through prayer and supplication to God that we can be able to have a relationship with Jesus. We have to surrender ourselves to his will so that he can do the work in and through us. We need to lift up our eyes to Jesus, as the verse says. Lift up our eyes in prayer and ask God to come into our life, to mold us and to fashion us and to give us the strength so that we can endure. And more so, we need to ask for the Holy Spirit 
We need to ask for the Holy Spirit to come into our lives so that we can have the fruits of the Spirit. So as we go out daily, we'll be able to come back to things of this carnal life. God wants to give it to each and every one of us, the Holy Spirit. But we have to ask. The Bible says, we have not because we ask not. So let's ask God to give us the Holy Spirit. Let's ask God for his protection. Let's ask God for his guidance. And let's continue to keep our eyes on Jesus, knowing that he will take us through the trials the same way he took David and all the other disciples, prophets in the Bible through their trials. We are saved through much tribulation, but we cannot do it without Jesus Christ. So be encouraged. Keep your eyes on Jesus and know that he is, his will is to save you. And his will is to do his plan in your life to save you into his salvation. God loves you, my brothers and sisters. Be encouraged. Keep looking to Jesus. And in times of doubt and in times of despair, please read Psalms 121 and see how God will preserve you from your going out, from your coming in, and how he will be with you, and how he will guide you. Keep looking to Jesus. Remember, he's the author and finish of your faith. And in all things, remember that God is always good. Until the next time, this is Brother Ray. Be blessed, and have a wonderful and delightful day. Bye-bye.